Hello everyone, my name is Flair Blitz and welcome back to Ruthless Smile. Let's just follow the voice that was enlisted at the end of the previous episode. The voice obviously tells us to go this way. The more we go over here, the more pink it gets. The boy's sleeping. He won't wake up anymore, so you're saying that he's dead. I just want to be together with you. Just be together. I see. He wants animals' friends by his side. He just doesn't know it, and I did something unnecessary. But as for our own survival, so you can't really blame yourself for that. And... It's hard since you're not around. I think Yuri's actual wish is to be with her family. I just misunderstood her. Yep, a tale of going through all the different things that went on throughout this time period. Humans are dead. They are dead. Village of Rain. It's a shame that it's not actually raining. Does that mean that it's untrue to its word? Right, and then there's you. The forest is... My son is... Uran is... Hmm. What about... Oh! Please fi help... <laughs> hey, please find me! Please come to my place! There's a crap bit of glass there! I feel that he was suffering something alone. Does he really want to be disappeared? I don't understand. We may never know the understanding of such mindsets until we get to see what actually unfolds in front of us. I forgot we can sprint. My bad. If you'd be shouting at the screen in order to indicate that I should be able to run. The window is broken. Did someone or something break it? Then there's this letter. Something is left there. I'll entrust you with this key. It's your freedom to know the truth and what to do. Even if you continue to exist and humans are destroyed, we can't do nothing but to accept it. Teruma. Teruma. Key? But there's nothing here. Did anyone take it? Anyone take the key? Was the man outside the one that was the one that took the key? We've already read for all of this. Um, we get it. Can't read it here and there, probably because it's an old book about flowers near the ruins of oblivion, worshipped by God. Maybe I should not have tried to go through that. Right. Someone broke in. This is a giant... There's a... Right. Well, think about the way it's shaped. What do you think it would be used for? It wouldn't be as a lassio or anything like that. No, it would be used as a noose. A very, very grim, horrific thing. There's a painting called Ruins of Oblivion. And then there was a boy there that wished to disappear. And then the noose is now hanging directly above where that boy was. Pretty uh, conclusive there. Now you... The forest is what? My son is Uranus. Right, it's a white flower. Can we go behind the building? Or is there no way of being able to go to the other side of this? Okay, we can go to the other side somehow. How does she make a... Oh, I thought that was a balcony, not a, um, a ground floor door. My bad. And we're stuck. There is an individual to the left over there. And this says, Ruins of Tears over there, while the rain of Village of Rain is over there. Okay. Okay, this is part of the town. There's something like a stone monument, but nothing is written. Okay. Wait, I feel like I overlooked it. What this? What are you talking about? What have we overlooked? There is something. Is this a secret passage? There is a keyhole, but it doesn't seem to be locked. Maybe the key he is talking about. I will go inside, since there is nothing else to do. Well, this place is definitely a ruins of sorts, this place. Perhaps the truth lies within this place, right? Something is written. The god created by the ritual is a god, but not a god. Therefore, it should not exist originally. So, it was something that could have been...
created by God, but is actually created by a mortal. This ritual must not be performed, something that must be forgotten. But don't forget, since God is a symbol of a sacrifice created by people, God but not God. That's true. Even if we are called a God, originally, we're just human beings, exactly. So what the funny thing is, these gods are like hundreds or thousands of years old, but um, some of them have the mentality of a child. It's like if time just throws at them and they just never age at all. God binding ritual. In a sacred place, human returns to nature in a living state, grants blessing to person's soul and binds it to the land by faith. Return to nature in a living state. Hmm. Cold. It's cold. Where is this? I cannot see anything. Something is falling. This is soil. Am I buried? I... I'm not dead yet. Uh, this is already... You're just reading that passage. Yes, I was. That time I was stabbed by an adult. But I didn't die. As it was. I was buried. Buried alive. The ruins where Shikisama is were a sacred place. I happen to meet the conditions for the ritual. Something else is written. God's killing ritual. God's life is eternal. But the heart is not. Ritual that conduct where God refuses. It extinguishes God's heart. However, it can't be returned to human. Since it can't be reincarnated. It becomes nothing and disappears. Okay, so a bit of text there about our character here being stabbed but surviving due to some kind of happenings was buried instead of killed, but she was stabbed, but survived it. So, is this really past the, um... past chapter one, when it comes, or chapter two, sorry, when it comes to how these events chronologically go about? Like, it could be a sequel, it could be a prequel. Like, I don't know at this point. Something is still written. I think there are stories out there which can be simultaneously a sequel, but also a prequel in their own rights. God Unraveling Ritual. Um, we've, already, we've already read this part. Okay, a person who raised God's faith and knows true name of God can pull God away from the land by pulling God's hat. Also, when they're released from God that way, they can now return to be reincarnated. What is this? There is a way we can return back, but this is impossible. But if someone gets hurt, just because we are here, I wonder if there is no choice but to disappear. No! Do never say that the only choice is to disappear. How long should I wait? As I was told, I'm waiting like a good child. Stop thinking on behalf of the adults and think for yourself. Waiting. Our wishes do not come true. Wait like a good child doesn't change anything. Exactly, but I wonder if it was okay if nothing changed. That time, I went against the adult, so I learned the truth I was able to know. So this is a sequel in a way, because you went against the adult's wishes by not leaving it alone and eating it or investigating it and stuff like that. Bloody adults, am I right? I know I'm an adult, but I don't impose such stupid um, traditions upon predecessors just so they could continue something which is really stupid and has no evidence or no facts backing it but just a sheer amount of belief and faith but if I if I'm going to felt this way it's better that I don't know anything at all that's religion on a nutshell actually it it spawned out of one person's mind and then that teaching just went upon the entire world like, I think that's how these scene start, is from one mind. And then from that one mind, it's shared about to another person, but another person, another person, about this grand belief or ideology or something. In a way, it sucks, but it does actually... God... Binding Ritual. I should have stayed beforehand if I knew. God by ritual in a sacred place return humans to nature and living state. Uh, we've already read that before. Um, God killing ritual. God's life is eternal, but the heart is not. 
ritual that conduct what God refuses to extinguish God's heart. However, it can't be returned to human, since it can't be reincarnated, it becomes nothing and disappears. God unraveling ritual. Uh, I think that's just looking at these things again. Hmm. Can we go further into these catacombs? Nope, that's it. That's all we get for our money. And there's no money involved. Just passion and freedom. Oh, nothing but clear blue skies. My legs are becoming heavy. Why? Ah, that's right. Is God tied to that land? I wonder if this is the limit I can go to. Nothing changes, but I wonder if I can go a little further. A little further. And further. Someone's there. Hello? Wait! Hello? The Chosen? Who is it? Only selected people will be able to enter here. Selected person? God doesn't wish to see someone's death. I know. Then why? I'm sorry, that's right. I am the same as you. Can't do anything and don't understand. That time I gave up everything at that place. Not. Eh? It's not the same. I don't want everyone to continue suffering as it is, but I don't want only us that are saved. I want both humans and gods to be saved. An ideal world like that just doesn't exist. There will always be some kind of sadness and conflict that goes on. And the best ending is not always the ending which involves everyone to survive, because that doesn't create depth and story. So I want to make, but in life that's just really really morbid and sad but it's how we grow as people those who are left so i want to make the divine ritual successful it may not even be a ritual that is canon i see so you're the one who entered that place first but then you know right that ritual erases the faith of god we need someone who knows our name to erase faith is to eliminate the bonds between god and humans and then humans will forget it the ritual the god the name of a god. Everything. We who can only be seen by humans who close to death. We who are unknown. Who, who, who would come to help me? I've been working so hard. So I've been working hard so far. It didn't make sense after all. It's useless. You want to save both God and humans? God can't be saved. Only humans can be saved. Humans can be saved by performing a God-killing ritual. It's just that, do you really think so? About you didn't want to give up? What you've been chasing is definitely not in vain. And I don't want to give up, right here. And I don't think it didn't make sense. Because you and me kept going against, since you didn't give up, you met me here. So, let's create a future where everyone can be happy. Yotsuba. Why do you know my name? You know that girl been talking about her friend. Somehow I wonder if it's about you. Do you really think so? Sorry. I really want to see you as it is. I don't think I can really I, I can do it because rumors have spread in the village. Even if it's forgotten through someone will reconnect with you guys. If you don't give up, I'm sure. You'll meet people who are trying to help you. The stronger your feelings are, the more it will be. Because it will not disappear and will be spun. But to raise your faith, it took a lot of time. And then, you might be killed before you're saved. Humans may die and no, way may, no one may be around. Still, endure. Wait for that time to come. My time will be end here. Will end here. The time surely will come. So don't give up. What if no one appears to help us? If no one comes, I'll be the one to go help. Eh? But you're the sacrificial girl. How can you do that when you've been sacrificed? Since there's a god or a mysterious power, there's also reincarnation, right? When the god unraveling ritual can be performed, I want to be born again. Since I promised to pay with Tiru. You have made a very problematic promise. T 
Toe will keep plastering until she's satisfied. Foo foo. At that time, if I don't give up until the end, just like you. Nah. It's not too late yet, right? I will not give up until the end like you. Follow ahead until the time come. I will keep spins. I'll keep spinning it. Or something along the lines. After that, let's play together with everyone. Yeah, I promise. Hey, what is your name? My name is Aruru. Aruru. It's time to go. See you again, Yatsuba. Yeah, see you, Aruru. Bath the now. We have to go back to the village. Where our powers are contained there, I'll definitely spin it. So, until then, goodbye. Great, we are back here. And we can't interact with you, but there's Shiki-sama. The promise that a person has made will not come true. Gentle. Transient. Ridiculous. Yotsuba, you're also the same. You who becomes the god can't do anything. You are... You've been sleeping all the time. Did you forget about me? You've changed a bit. Shiki-sama. Fufu. Certainly it may be as Shiki-sama says. When I was a human, I couldn't be like Aruru. I gave up on the way. But... What if I didn't give up that time? Doesn't it feel like something has changed? Shikisama, we have to finish it this time. Not just for humans, but for us as well. Everyone has to be saved. Is this about the ritual, right? If it succeeds, everyone may be saved. But the human words I heard when you died. When I heard that words, I, those words, I thought, no one needs to be saved anymore. Wish is something. Murder. Even after I become a god. I can't forgive the ruthless humans who denies it. What such a person wanted was a ruthless god. This time, god will kill humans' wishes. Who kills humans' wishes? And when that's done, it's my turn at the end. For I can't forgive myself. I'm still so confused. You are a god who grants human happiness and misery. It's your task to grant those accordingly. And it is spun to the death of someone. You are the same as me. So, Yatsuba, I won't forgive you either. We are certainly missing something. We may be a ruthless god. The humans who know nothing and keep making sacrifices may also be ruthless. But we are the same as to each other. Everyone should be saved this time. So, no matter what you say, it doesn't change anything. This time we'll continue to defy until the end. Definitely. Heh. <laughs> they can keep defying it. Will you lose to God and kill all humans? Will you lose your heart and disappear? I don't care. No matter what the ending, I'll kill the last one and finish everything. Fine then. I pray that your feelings will be overcome and released. I'll keep watching you all. Thank you very much. Well then. Well then, what? Well then, what? Aruru. Teru and Yotsuba are not real gods. But if it's true that God is for real, please, I beg you, take me once again. Not real gods. How dare you? Right, we're no need to go back. Head to the ruins of tears. You have to be like that, don't you? And into the darkness that are the ruins of this place. So we was this character at the very start of the game. As I thought, there's no one. It wasn't there, but it's been in my ears all the time. The sound of rain and the voice of a crying girl. I can't remember who it was. I feel like something remains in me. The blooming hydrangea and the never-ending rain. A world that has continued to fall and withered. What I remember is, I live in that place and I died in front of that child. Hmm. Either I'm alive like this now, it's funny. And I promise with someone. Yes, Aruru is. A promise made by a person with the same name as me. I wonder if that promise still remains. 
I'm not too sure. Hey, you're there somewhere, right? At the time of promise, I'm sure. And you're tearing up. Welcome back. I feel like someone says that to me. This is a story that's been spun by someone. Spun by someone. The story that you've spun. Well, that's been spinned by someone. Been spun by someone. That is definitely what you would call the second one. Please select a story. Let's see, we're done one, done two, done three just now. Right, we should play zero next, and it's true end. Okay, a story that someone breaks. This is a village where disasters fall. People are injured, the crumbling ruins, and a wounded god. It causes retribution. Hmm. Oh yeah, episode 3 only had one end, so therefore it didn't have like a, um, a sentence of what ending it was and like a little description afterwards. Episode 0, definitely. Story that someone breaks. Okie dokie. Let's see what's going on. A village where disasters continue. It's well as born. I've been told that. It's all my fault. You've been told that it's all your fault, but is it really your fault? So I want to prove that I'm not. I stepped into a ruin. The ruins again. Oh, Shiki! We're playing a Shiki then. I think it's here. I think the cause is definitely here. Adults came here secretly at night. Still, it's really a tattered ruin. There's a lot to investigate here. There's a pillar. It seems that there's something was written. I can't read it, probably because it's so old. And this one? Nothing to worry about. This. It seems that something was written, but it was badly damaged and I can't read it. It's a mark that only seems to be damaged by someone. Who on earth is doing this? Also, she's portrayed as only having one eye in the other episodes, but here she's got both of her eyes. So something must have happened between episode 0 and episode 2 where she lost one of her eyes. Right, I can't go in the middle of it and read at the centre, so I'm just going to have to do it this way. There's a knife on the bottom of the water. I can't reach it if I try to reach out. Why is there a knife in that place? Probably somebody wants to commit murder. Water lilies are blooming. It's a beautiful water lily. And this over here, there's nothing to, there's nothing to investigate. The water is so clear, but I'm scared of something. Your own reflection? What is it that you are scared about? It's a beautiful water lily. And over here is rubble. This is more than a natural break. I feel like someone broke it. Oh, dearie me, who has co committed vandalism in this place? Ruins, something ruins. Resonates within our village. God sleeps deep within the water, sharing one fate with us. Resonance. Sharing one fate. The ruins are meant here, right? Does it mean that there is a god on the bottom of the ocean? The water, I mean? Hmm. It seems that something was written, but it was badly damaged. I can't read it. Nothing else here. I don't understand anything in the end. I don't know what to do. Maybe, so maybe I'll go home. But I'll never give up. Are you sure, little one? Over here. Eh? Who is calling me? And why is it gone all blue? I feel like I heard someone's voice now. Huh? So it gets reflected on the water surface. Hmm. Who might you be? If you are here. Someone is in the water. A reflection of yourself? And this person is full of wounds. Eh? You can see me. You are chosen by the people. We decide the fate of humans. Look, I, I, oh, you're you're picking up the knife. Oh. Damn, she came out of the water in this feeling. She's trying to kill me. I don't think she's trying to kill you. With this, it will save you. Man, with this, it will save you. 
Oh, we was meant to run away. But also, yeah, she was trying to stab us. So yeah, let's not. If you're going to run away, your fate will now be decided, okay? Great. We need to do something else. Goodness sakes. Goodness sakes. Can we just go across? Nope. Nope. It seems like we're in this place for the long run. Uh, do you know the word ca casual retribution? If you do good things, good things will come back. If you do bad things, bad things will come back. Yes. Is it just a time-based thing? It could just be that. Yes, everything is all of your fault. Shut up, you. And this is... Bleh. I give it to you who are ruthless. The last mercy for me. What are you saying, other version of ourself? Are you really trying to kill another version of yourself because of your jealousy for us? I'm not sure about ca casual retribution or mercy. I just came to stop the disaster. Stop it! To stop the disaster, huh? Yeah, so stop trying to kill us. At all. You know very well we can play this all day. And... Okay, it's a time-based thing. Don't you give up? If I give up, I won't even come here. I see. The water's rising. That sound is... I think the sound of rain is echoing so loud here. I hate rain. Someone seems to be crying and I hate it. That god. Teru. I can't even find you with this. Really hate. I really hate it. She cannot find me. Foo foo foo. Neither you nor I can be saved. Fate. I'm so tired. I don't want to see it anymore. Eh? You are... What exactly are you? No idea. But at the very, very, very least, we're not dead now. And... Is the water rising there? I'm not too sure. We can go! Because escape now is possible. And oh, the villager. Disaster continues to happen in my village. The village is gradually breaking down. Someone gets hurt and gets sick. And that night, another disaster happened. Like? Nothing can happen so soon. Also, I have to meet and talk to her. The one in the water. Can't read it. Why did all of this happen? Maybe it's something that shouldn't be seen. As I thought the villager must be hiding something. Otherwise, they wouldn't be sneaking around in here. Exactly. Also, I do wonder why now the, um, maybe I'm just imagining things, but this pillar, I feel that someone's sadness is transmitted. I wonder what was written. Right. Why did all of this happen? Maybe it's something that shouldn't be seen. Village must be high. Okay, so those two actually performed the same, um, same action. Beautiful water lily. Beautiful lily pad. I hope nothing happens. Something happens along the way. A beautiful water lily, rubble there. Feel like someone broke it, yes, because there's usually a natural progression when it's nature that breaks something. Huh? This is the knife belonged to a girl in this ruin. Why is it left over here? I don't want to be attacked again, so let's pick it up. This knife is in a terrible state. Got a broken knife! But this is a damage that can't be read. Hmm, I could read it when I came here. Certainly, bleh, rain bleh, resonates, so wounds resonate within our village. God sleeps deep within the water, sharing one fate with us, right? Right? Something, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're upside down now. Goodness sakes. I hope nothing happens. So I'm sensing in chat, sorry, in episode four, we're going to be playing as a woo-woo. Who? You again? Who came this time? This feeling. Is it the child who just came? I didn't expect you to come again. You as I thought. Your eyes. 
You can't see? It's nothing. Don't worry about me. Really? So why did you come here? The disaster continues in my village. How suddenly broke. Someone suddenly got injured. Or suddenly can't see. It's as if... Reflected like the place where you're at. So please tell me. What is this place? Who are you? What do you have to do with the disaster? Last time you were about to be killed by me. Even so you came here again. You want to stop the disaster even if risking your life? Yes. I've always been told that the cause of disaster is me. So I want to stop it. To prove that I'm not. I just... Want to play with everyone normally. That's... That's all. Cause your retribution indeed. Eh? I bleh. My name is Saren, Water Lily, the one who was called God by you. This place was called the Ruins of Raindrop Wa so Rainwater Drops. Now it's also called the Ruins of Oblivion. Did you read the stone monument here? I thought the Ruins of Oblivion was one where Shikisama was with the Four Seasons. Yes, certainly yes, the Ruins and the Village resonate. The god sleeps deep within the water, sharing one fate with us. Surprised you remember it well. It was like written on the stone monument. Me and this Reuben, you and the village. As god, I have the power to resonate them. Did you know what I mean? Since there are people who hurt you or damage the ruins, means that we're suffering the same outcome? That's right. Like what you say, this place is because. And then you're all the ones doing that. I... I like this place. This place hasn't changed since long ago. So this is a request from me. I hope you stop damaging this place from now on. I'm not even doing anything to this place! Like, blame the other human beings, like the adults around here for desecrating this place, but I'm not the one doing it! It's not a word to say since I'm trying to kill you last time. But I really want to stop humans. So the reason you tried to kill me... Because you think I came here to break it? That's right. I get it. For me and for you. I'll do my best. Thank you. They are kind of one and the same, these two, in a ways. They both look incredibly similar. The rain has stopped and the beautiful moon is in the sky. I want to see the beautiful sky again. Yup. Alright. Memory again. Alright, let's leave. Villager, hey Shiki, what are you doing in such a place? As I thought, it's because of you that there's a disaster. What if you anger the god here? Listen Shiki, next time you come here I won't forgive you. If you understand, quickly go back to the village. Don't listen to the villager. And, what a beautiful water lily. However, one of the flower words is downfall, so I want to offer this flower to all of you. Hmm. Blue eyes. Blue eyes, white dragon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and this place again, I finally got escaped. Is she still here? She is definitely here. Damage can't be read. That on there. That on there. Rubble here. Traces of someone breaking it. Okay. Traces this time. Item. A knife that fallen in the ruins. Severely damaged tip is missing. But you know what? It can still be used to cut stuff. A broken sword can still cut something. A broken hammer can still smash something up. And smash itself up in the process. What's wrong? I don't really understand. But I have a bad feeling. You can do whatever you want. But I'm tired too, so just a little more, okay? Okay. Alright, we'll investigate the place again. There's a pillar, it seems that something was written. I can't read it, probably because it's so old. This is an old ruin, right? I wonder if God has been here for a long time. Siren. What that child said her name. So when that child said her name. Sherin. I felt something was wrong. Maybe I'm imagining things. Everything. 
everything was destroyed by the villager. I'm really sad, as I thought. The villager is the one who breaks the things that goes about in this day and age, but yet they pass the blame onto others because they feel that because they're the adult, they feel like they can just swing their hierarchy hammer around whatever they like. It seems that something was written, but it was badly damaged, but I can't read it. I wonder if the villagers don't know about the god here. But they said if you make god angry, right? Knowing that shouldn't make it angry, yet destroying the ruins where god is. Why? But my voice has been heard by you. I'm sure this will save me and all of you. Right. The ruins again. By the way, I wonder why Saren didn't stop the villager. She did try to kill me because she thought I came here to break things here, right? If so, I think she can stop the villagers even without killing them. When tomorrow comes again. No, it's nothing. I wonder if you were stabbed by that villager, actually. The letters are damaged and can't be read, so that's why she's got that blood mark on her. When I see it, it was damaged by something sharp. By the way, how did you stop the villagers? Do your best and persuade. You didn't think out anything. Nope. It's rubble with a trace of someone breaking it. I understand that letters on the stone monument are erased. I don't have a reason for breaking such a meaningless place. Perhaps breaking any of it has meaning? But for what? But I think you can. I'm really glad I didn't kill you. I'm sure God is watching over us now. God is... something. You should go home soon. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be bad if the villagers found you next time? Yes, but... I'll destroy the entrance here for you. Eh? I think that will break the village a bit. But there will be no more people entering. The disaster will stop. But you can no longer go out. I can't get out of here originally. Don't worry about me. Once everything is solved, if you feel like it, come back and repair it. Okay, I got it. But when everything is done, I'll repair it and I'll definitely come see you. Thank you. Is the villager going to be there? Just go. Don't have any second regrets. And shortly after leaving the ruins, the entrance to the ruins are destroyed. No one can come into the ruins now. With this, with this I can sleep. At least. At last, I'll send a water lily flower to all, for all of you. Oh, I forgot. The person who could receive this flower. Did all of them have died? Bad end? But I didn't think that the game... Uh... Okay, you start to notice something. Lovely. Now again from the beginning. Lovely. It's like episode 2 where we got a second playthrough of sorts of the same scenario. So we'll be back when we get to that point. I definitely selected one that something breaks. I can hear something. Shining not upon me but upon this world. On the contrary. We're in episode 1 again. Hmm. I can hear something else. Oh, is it raining? I hate rain. Rain is... In the past and now, I'm sure the next me won't be able to like it. Um, yes, if it's going to repeat the same thing. And here we are again. I hope nothing happens. Hmm. Who? Somebody is there. Hello! You think you're lying about something? About their identity, it could be. Shiki came to notice the lies. Lies is displayed in red letters, yes. This place was called the Ruins of Rainwater Drops. Now it's also called the Ruins of Oblivion. Okay, so we already know that. Any other lies in here as well? Anything else written? That's right. Like what you said, there's places for course. I don't think so. And then you're all ones doing that. I like this place. This place hasn't changed since long ago. So this is a request from me. I hope you stop damaging this place from now on. It's not a word to say since I'm trying to kill you last time. But I really want to stop the humans. 
So the reason you tried to kill me because you think I came here to break it. Hmm. You say that, but do you have anything else to add? You're not adding anything to the context of what's going on. Hmm. And the villager came here as well. So that definitely is the lie, but the villager didn't? I would have thought they did. You're really sad. Maybe it's both of us, actually, that destroyed it. Both... But who is Siren? And who is Shiki? Or Shiki and whatever the name that Siren actually is. Hmm... Damage can't be read, but my voice can be heard by you. I'm sure this will save me and all of you. Hmm... How can you pick up the lies? When tomorrow comes again, no, it's, yeah, you're going to destroy the ruins, aren't you? The entrance to the ruins. Old ruin, Sharon, that girl, why did she lie? By the way, how did you stop the villagers? Do your best and persuade. Nope, nothing at all. We need to get down to the bottom of... Yeah, you're really glad... What do you mean you're glad you didn't kill us when that's a lie? Sure God is watching over us. Right. Hmm. Yes, but... I'll destroy the entrance here for you. Eh? I think that'll break the village a bit, but there'll be no more people entering. The disaster will stop, but you can only go out. I can't get out of here originally. Don't worry about me. Once everything is solved, if you feel like it, come back and repair it. You've got it. Yep. Hmm. Why is Seren keeps lying? I have a bad feeling. Hmm. Let's meet again. What's wrong? It's nothing. Hmm. Destroy the ruins and hurt the god. The villagers have feared god. There should be no reason to hurt the ruins or god. Hmm. More transitions. What god tried to stop? God trying to kill me who tried to stop the disaster. A god who does nothing to the villagers who have caused disaster. Ca ca causal retribution. Causal. Who did god use that word for? No, I don't want to leave. What really happened? I want to know the truth. If we don't get forgiveness soon, but what should we do? No one knows about this ruin. Why did they come here so many times? I don't think you could talk about that on others. I wish you'd left early. What you are looking for is... I will help you. How will you be able to help us? Heard a voice from the ruins. Was it just imagining things? Hmm. Yeah, this is... We can't be seen by villagers. You can wait on this side until they're gone. But I... Really? It's about to reach my limit. I need to rest a bit. Limit? There are so many things that my head is fluttering. I'm in the water right now. In the water. Is there something on this side? Hmm. Okay. The ruins of rainwater drops resonates within our village. God sleeps deep within the water, sharing one fate with us. I could read the characters that might... But, well, that should have been erased. Why? Hmm. Can read the characters that should have been erased. So I along those lines. The villagers are talking about something. At this rate, we will perish to get forgiveness from God. As long as we don't know what God wants, we had no choice but to do something about it. It's better than no nothing. Perhaps we destroy this place? Now, if we do that, the calamity might be even worse. Let's go to ask mercy of God. Make a sacrifice and destroy this place. It's the only way. Hmm. They're all talking about the same thing. The defied one will be forever engraved in the soul. 
no matter how many times it's reincarnated, it'll inherit the same name. Inherit the same name. Aha! Besides, the defied one is... Yeah, it is Shirin! Originally, she wasn't a god. Hmm. But there's a pill that seems that something was written. I can't read it. Probably because it's so old. It is faint and cannot be read. Okay, but what about these? The water surface transfers a past and a future. If you really want it, the water surface will respond to it. Okay. The past and the future. Perhaps this water surface is now... Let's go back to the village and start preparing. We do it tomorrow morning. Then we should tell that child. No, don't. Just tell her tomorrow morning at the very end. Hmm. Ravenous villagers. Think of it as sacrifice to something that you've never ever seen will be able to do something. Ah, I came back. If the past reflects just like the stone monument says, what I want is disaster. The beginning of it. Right. Shirin are reflected. But since she wasn't injured, it's before the disaster? Aha! That is definitely true. I don't want to see anything anymore. I hate places like this, and even better. Even better than what? You gonna try and kill us again? You trying to break down the wall? The house suddenly started to collapse. What the hell is going on? The villagers are so noisy. Did something happen? Doesn't it matter to me? Anyway, I think that stone monument should be destroyed. You think? Are you breaking down? Hey, what's this mark? Did someone hurt? The village is starting to break. Why? This fiend is not a natural phenomenon. Is this- is that my power? The humans are here! By the way, there's something I want to try. Don't do that! That's called self-harm! And that's how you got that wound initially. This time, we also suffered damage. This is God's... Retribution. Foo 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 foo. Oh gosh, you're gone yandere. I see, I see. Humans don't have to break it. But not and everything. Not the will of humans, but the will of God. With my will. Ah, before that. I don't want to see this world anymore. Let's close our eyes together. Human. No. Because that's how I lost my eye. What is it just now? It's like what you see. I'll get this back. Broken knife was taken from you. If that's indeed true, then the one who caused the disaster wasn't us. Humans have made use of the power of God until now, so it's my turn this time. Humans aren't the only ones who can use the power of God. Me as God and you humans have shared the same fate, but time has passed and it's time to be cut off. Even if humans forgot God, God can never forget humans. Even if humans walk in the future, God cannot walk in the future. Even if God disappears, humans just stay alive. That's not possible. Unfair, isn't it? So the last one is... I decide to use my power for myself. Destroy together, humans. In the end, I can't. Again with this... Yeah, that's no good, so we should just run the clock again. Run the clock, and hopefully nothing bad will happen, but this time she is slower. I think this is how she lost her eye. Wh why did you do this? It's like what I said before. 
Even if it causes disaster, I believe this is the right way. Then you are indeed a disaster. Your existence could be seen as a disaster. Cyril is still lying, but in this state, no matter what I ask, I can't give up. This is why we're using this monument to our advantage. We're mirroring her movements. Last time I said it was a casual retribution. Causal retribution. It's a word that suit me very well. Really well. When he robs someone's future, the future you will want will never come. But I am prepared for it. Destroy everything. Get punished. That prepared. That sounds like a really, really weird kink that people will have. Get punished? And... The future you want isn't a future that will hurt everyone, right? Then... I've already given up. Eh? I want to disappear already. It doesn't matter what happens to others. I don't need salvation. That's a lie. A smirky smile never reveals the truth. It reveals your alter self. Kind of like VTubers in a way. So about killing you. It was just my whims. Selfishness. My last stand. It's not God's mercy. But even then. So even that. The world doesn't allow it. Uh. God have its heart hidden somewhere. I am the same. But why? Why? I still felt sorrow deep in my heart. Fate is cruel, isn't it? Go against. Give up. Meet a little hope. It disappears. Did you know? I saw a future on my own with my power. My future. What do you think was reflected on the water? Nothing is reflected. I'm sorry. Okay, so you didn't lose your eye. My hypothesis was that um, Shiki lost her right eye due to some kind of event that transpired. Since then, Shirin has disappeared. Somehow I understand. Siren are no longer in this world. Again, a bad end. God has disappeared and no calamity has occurred. This is the truth and the right path. But if there is another way, when God attacks you at the very end, the water surface may be shown. When Shiki shows a heart that never gives up before a God runs towards her. Aha, the water surface will surely respond to you. So that's the solution then. When she runs towards us, that is the time in which we should go to the water itself. So about killing you, it was just my whims, selfishness, my last stand. It's not God's mercy, but even that, the world doesn't allow it. If you are rip. Come on, game. How do you get the true ending of this goddamn outcome? Hmm, if you're really trying to end everything, instead of breaking it piece by piece, you can break it all at once. Since you didn't do that, did you wait for someone within your heart? The hope there will be someone to help you. Please, show me the true you that hiding in your heart. Okay, so it's before the running sequence. It's before the running sequence. And... There's no salvation for a human who've been made God. Eventually my heart will die and disappear. The creator God becomes a convenient existence for human beings. If it happens, it will be repeated. I will be a ruthless God at my will. Don't let God be born again. If there is a true God, please I beg you. This is my heartful wish. Please, please, only this wish will come true. Is that really your wish? Hmm. Ok, 
can we leave now? I don't want to disappear. I don't want to hurt anyone anymore. Somebody, please help me. Also, it's not over yet. There's still something I need to know. I'm sure it's inside the water surface. Jump in. What so? This. The name of child who enters the water becomes a god and sleeps within the water is... What happened now? You are... Please don't look any further. Thought so. This happened here. At last I knew about you in this place. I'm glad I didn't give up until... <laughs> she just stabbed your eye out and yet you're very happy to see her. But I still don't know your name. Saren is a lie, isn't it? Who would you do if you know? So what would you do if you know? Whether you know me or God. Nothing changes. It will change. It must change. Although human beings change, gods do not change. God has no salvation tied to this land. They are not allowed to leave this place. That's why I might be recreated again. I want to change the fate of humans. The means to destroy everything. The creation of God and the people who know it. If it disappears, no one will suffer. But even that couldn't be changed. You have been chosen by God. I am chosen by God? I used my power before closing my eyes. I didn't reflect at all. Only you, who will become a god in my place. You were killed because of the calamity I caused. Because of my existence, you became a god. I'm not sure, but it hasn't been decided yet. I'm still a living being, not a god. This again. That body... I am already at the limit. Please don't give up. It shouldn't end like this. God is disappearing. Hmm. What else can we do? What else can we do? Nothing. You again. What's with that wound? As I thought, it was right to choose you. I was planning to do it in the morning, but I'll do it now. Choose? What? Right now, we'll destroy this place. In order to calm the wrath of God, we'll have you die alongside with God. There's no use running away. The ruins are surrounded by us. You cannot escape with your tiny feet. We will start now. I'm sorry about this. Please sleep along with the disaster. You can bloody go away, villager. This is a place where I die? No. Come to think of it, water surface reflecting the future. She said she couldn't see anything. I wonder if it is really not showing. Please, show me at the end, the future of that child. It's really not showing. Uh, someone's reflected a bit. But I can't understand anything with this, but it's reflected. You reflect into the future. The past and the future have been spun. However, it seems that the voice doesn't reach as it is now. Please lead that child in the future to the ruins of oblivion. Now to someone else's story. Hmm. Okay. God is disappearing. From outside rooms, I hear the voices of many villagers try to so talk about breaking something. I can hear various sounds. Maybe I won't be able to escape now. After all that, don't give up perch so confidently to her. Perhaps this is like the end, but it's like a non-conclusive end in its own way. So I think we're going to be ending this up, folks. Thank you so much for watching. This part here does not have anything else to offer. Nope, 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 nope. So, folks. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see each other the next time of Rufus Smile. We'll be entering into episode 4. And then after that, episode 5. And then we'll be finishing up the story. But I, I like it. But the mystery of it, around it is too confusing for most people to understand. I feel like if you're a Japanese native. And you'll probably be able to understand kind of like the more spiritual side of things. I'm not trying to 
target particular nations, but if something is in Japanese and is written originally in Japanese, and then with kind of traditions as well that could be a common theming in the past around Japan, then this kind of thing could be considered like a normal, understandable story in Japan. But unfortunately, I'm not in Japan, I'm in England. So, <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much for watching, take care of yourselves.